the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. Insects. Lots of people don't like them, but for entomologist Lynn Kimsey, they've been a lifelong fascination. What appeals to me is, is the diversity, the enormity of the variety of things that insects do and how they accomplish them. Insects range in length from the longest, such as this atlas moth, to the heaviest, the goliath beetle to the smallest, the fairy wasp on the head of the pin. Insects like this spiny walking stick are composed of three major body parts, the head, the thorax, where the six legs are attached, and the abdomen. Kimsey oversees the Bohart Museum, the seventh largest insect collection in North America, with more than seven million specimens and over 150,000 species. 99.9% .9 of insects really have nothing to do with humans. They can't sting, they don't bite, they don't vector disease, they don't eat the same things we do. Our knowledge of insects now is about comparable to the knowledge of other kinds of animals, mammals or humans even, in the first century AD. Insects also perceive things differently than humans, like this millipede. These guys smell with their antennae, they taste with their feet, they don't breathe with lungs. One factoid Kimsey likes to relate has to do with sources of atmospheric methane. And when you factor out all the industrial production, all the methane produced by cows, turns out that termites produce more methane than any other source on Earth. I love that. I think that's very good. <laughs> Paul Fotenauer reporting from UC Davis. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.